Okay, in the following uh, video, uh, we're going to explore um, some of the fractions to decimals that you should have memorized. Uh, we're going to look at about six or seven different uh, families of decimals, and all these you should have memorized. The first is the fourths. Uh, the fourths are the easiest, or one of the easiest, and that is uh, because they all have to do with 0.25. Okay, each one of these that we're going to learn is going to have a key part, a key number to it that basically represents 1 over that number. So in this case, the fourth is 0.25. So 1 fourth is 0.25. And then all you do at this point is multiply the number on top of what you need times what that base decimal is. So 2 times 25 is 50, which would mean it would be 2 fourths is 0 0.50, which we should know because 2 fourths simplifies to 1 half. And then 3 fourths, well, 3 times 25 is 75, so it becomes 0.75. And so you should know what 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths are. When you look at fifths, we're now worried about 0 0.2, 0 0.20. And so 1 fifth, again, that's the base, 0.2. And then we just multiply 0 0.2 times each one of these. And that's a really easy multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4, so it's going to be 0.4. 2 times 3 is 6, so it's going to be 0 0.6. And 2 times 4 is 8, so it's going to be 0.8. So determining these is very easy. You should have these memorized. You need to look at this chart and make sure you know what each one of these are. Okay, the next one we're going to look at um, are eighths. And when, you, when you consider eighths, eighths is a little bit more difficult. Okay, and that is because this time our base is 0.125. And so it's not quite as easy to multiply by 0.125. So this one requires a little bit more, more memorization than, say, the ten, the tenths will, or what the fifths did, or what the fourths did. So one-eighth is our base, so 0.125. You should just have that memorized. And you could figure these out by dividing if you forget them, but that's why we want to memorize them, so we don't have to take the time to do the division. Okay, if you multiply by 2, well, recognize that at this point, this is something you already know. 2 eighths is the same as 1 fourth, which is 0.25. Right? That one you should know because you know what 1 fourth is. So then we just need to add 0.125 to 0.25, to get our next one, which would be 0.375. So this is one that you need to be thinking about memorizing. You could multiply it, right? It'd be rather than doing the division, it'd be easier, easier, right, to just do this, right? Carry the one seven point three seven five, then go through to the division. So that's a quicker way to do it than maybe doing division. Four eighths, we should already know that's 0.5. Five eighths, well, the real easy way to do this is you know it's 0.125 bigger than 0.5. Well, 0 0.5 plus 0.1 is 0 0.6. Add the 0 0.025, and you get 0.625. 6 eighths is the same as 3 fourths, so it's 0 0.75. And so 7 eighths, you multiply 0 0.125 times 7, and that's going to give you 0 0.875. So you should know all seven of those. That should be something that you have memorized. The tenths are by far the easiest. When you think about tenths, you think about 0 0.1. And so each one of these is just point whatever your part that's on top, right? 0 0.2, 0 0.3. 0.4, you should have these memorized very easily, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and 0 0.9. Uh, each one of those, the, the tenths are always the easiest one of, of them. Okay, the last two we're going to look at are the twentieths and the fiftieths. And so when you do twentieths, um, this time we're concerned about what is 0 0.05. And if you notice, I didn't list all of these because I didn't want to take up that much time. We shouldn't need to go to do these. The key to the 20th is just multiply by 5, and then put a decimal on it. So whatever number that is, multiply that number by 5, put a number. So for 2, fit, two 20 ths multiply 5 times 2, and you get 10, so it's going to be 0 0.10 or 0 0.1. Multiply 7 by 5, and you get 35, and so it's going to be 0 0.35. Multiply 9 by 5, you get 45, so the 9 20 is 0 0.45. 12, that's going to give you... Um, 12 times 5 is 60, so it's going to be 0 0.6 or 0 0.60. 5 times uh, 15 is 75, so it's going to be 0 0.75. And then 18 times 5 is 90, so it's just going to be 0 0.9. So again, when you're doing 20th, you, the, the thing you got to remember is that you're multiplying by 5. Okay, 50th, when you're looking at 50th, this time you're multiplying by 2. So 1 times 2 is going to give you uh, 2, but instead of... Um, it being 0.2, it's 0 0.02, right? So you're multiplying it by, whatever you're multiplying that top number by, you're multiplying by 0 0.02. So when you do 2, it's going to be 2 times 2 is 4, but it's 
zero four. Right, three times two is six, so it's point zero six. Twelve times two is twenty four, so it becomes point two four. And then you just multiply all these by two and put a decimal there. Twenty six times two is just point five two. Thirty two times two is point six four. Thirty nine times two is point seven eight. And then forty seven times two is is ninety four. Put a point in front of it, you get point nine four. So you should have these memorized. We'll go back over them real quick. When you do fourths, you multiply by 0.25. Those, those are really easy to memorize. When you do fifths, you multiply by 0.2, so 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Notice you're adding 0.2 each time as well. That's another way to think about it. When you do eighths, that's probably the hardest one that I think you should memorize, and that's 0.125 each time. Um, and so we just multiply by 0.125. Remember, the easiest one thing to remember is these three are just the same as four, so if you simplify the fraction. And that really makes your life easier. Tenths are the easiest. You just check whatever's on top. You just put a decimal in front of. And then the last two we looked at were twentieths. Multiply by five and put a decimal in front of it. Front of it. And then point, the fiftieths multiply by two and put a decimal in front of it. So these you should be able to do quickly. Um, you don't want to waste time trying to figure out what these decimals are. It's just going to take you more time than you should spend on any any math test or quiz or math competition.